G'day fellas, it's your boy Skinny Mole Rat, or should I say, actually scrap that whole intro. Today we have team 38 of our 126 rebuild. I apologize if I sound a little, like, I don't know, not sick. I literally just woke up. So we do a new tab today. They're from the CUSA. They're a one star school, 70 overall, 75 offense, 70 defense. I see a lot of this team. Well, it essentially is the same team as Tulsa. And we know how well Tulsa went. They went like 58 and six or something. Uh, we have a target win per year of five, which is easy enough. Four, 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 take that. Four, 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 take that. Take a lot of these trasher guys. None of these two stars. None of these Juco sophomores. I only found seven people out of everybody interested that I like. Pretty good running back. Pretty good receiver as well. I don't know how much we need him, but... I feel like receiver is such an intangible thing in this game. You can get receivers at any point of the rebuild. We need to get those linebackers early, those offensive linemen early. Okay, so UTEP went, what, 1 in 11 people are telling me, and we have a bazillion seniors. Look at everybody. They're seniors. Everybody. All right, Jerome Beck, we're going after him, hands down. A lot of these better players, like, at least try and compete for them. Josh Clark doesn't look like the greatest, but we got a good bonus on him. Andrew Coleman, get the receivers out. Free safety, I'm on it. Jeff Boone, 70, 67 overall. I was about to say 70. I wish he was a damn 70. I don't like this Chaz Browning guy. I, don't, I also don't think William Henry is worth that much investment. Jerome Beck, this is our best player so far. So I'll drop that down to 200 just to be safe about it. Athlete, Phil Guerrero, wide receiver. Strong safety, I like it. Oh, dude, I need to get a lineman too, don't I? All right, I'll take Charles McCoy, the tight end. This guy is six foot six and runs a 4.42, bro. Okay, I'm down, I'm down. Let's go see if we can snag some O lineman. 6.45, nearly missed that guy. The first 73 we find, he's got no interest in joining the team. I guess we're just gonna have to rock with what we got, eh? I can't really do much about that. Gotta scout the offensive lineman, just in case they turn out garbage. He's a 78. And, okay, see, that's exactly why I scouted them. Okay, you're a gem, but you're a running back. None of my athletes have been quarterbacks lately. Um, it's not ideal, but I guess I'll give this outside linebacker some points. Strong safety, gonna take this guy. Oh, would you look at that? So we went we went 5-0 and and then lost to Tulsa. All right, so we are in week 10 on a 6-1 and record. We're having glimpses of Tulsa success. So J.R. Casey, for some reason, we're fighting for this guy. Wait, what happened to Jerome Black Beck? Oh my goodness, we're losing out on everybody. What the hell happened while I was gone? Phil Guerrero in the bag. He's in the bag. He's in the bag. Uh, Joshua Jordan is pretty much already there in the bag. Um, I'm going to drop down a little bit on these guys. I don't think it's worth having so many points invested in them. Now, these guys are the top. What to do with these guys? I guess I'll drop 700 back on him. And then let's get rid of Chad Moore. I'm not really interested. All right, we'll take Anthony Saria. A six foot four free safety who's not what I like in a free safety. But you know what? We'll take it. Even when I try to go out of my way to find linebackers, I can't find them. A good linebacker just doesn't exist for Crow. All right, I'm just going to hope that I jump these two guys from just simulating. So we pick up 79 overall, Albert Cook, 78 overall, Cedric Long. That's going to help us on the O-line and the receiving core. And now we freed up a bit of space as well. All right, fine. I'll take you, Ken Battle. Jeez. Stop popping up. This running back has wanted me to get him since the beginning. And he's, he doesn't even like the school, it's because nobody else likes him. This is low lock DTs right now. Okay, what a surprise, they're all dog shit. So who got the first pick then? I missed it, I was looking at these studs right here. Like Robert Bell. I'm expecting this guy to go up like three minimum, which is not what I want. He goes up eight, okay, you know what? That's a quite a bit of improvement right there, I'll take it. Ken Battle, can you get off my draft board? Ooh, you're good. All right, Ken Battle. Gonna give this guy a scholarship because he turned out to be pretty dang decent. Jason Reese, I guess I could try to drop 150 on him. I don't know if he'll join, but it's worth a shot. Let's go to the playoffs. We pick up Jerome Beck, Lawrence Larson. Dude, I, these names are so confusing because they all start with the same letter. Like, I just, I can't speak very well. Where did the paces go, Hurricane? Do we have a lottery pick? Oh, no, we were in the playoffs. That's right, never mind. Well, another year of mediocrity for the paces. Let's go. 10 and 3 first season. So, above and beyond expectations. We just lost our entire team. And I mean the entire team. You tell more like you slept. Hey, true, true, true. So, Mikel Broussard is leaving to go to Nevada for whatever reason. 
Um, we have a fullback leaving to go to Houston. So not only do we lose all of our players, we lost our quarterback, running back, cornerback, right guard, both linebackers, center, DT, running back, wide receiver, another quarterback. Like we lost our entire starting lineup essentially. Um, let's go three and a half in a Khalif Mosley. Uh, we need cornerbacks, that's a given, and then Phil Guerrero is a what? All right, there we go. Everybody has a scholarship. Let's see how this goes. All right, for some reason, we got the punter, quarterback, free safety, left guard. That's not bad. We signed the 39th best class. Not ideal, but we did go up to a two-star prestige. Four four-stars, eight three-stars, four two-stars, three one-stars. Albert Cook looks like he's going to be a receiver. Jerome Beck, no doubt he's going to be a receiver. Joshua Jordan, no doubt. Oh, hold on. He's an O-lineman, athlete. We're looking good, chat. Well, we're not because our quarterback is 66 overall, but we're looking good. Other than that, look at this, Travis Hopkins, 12% lock rate. I'm going to take that. Trying to find somebody who's actually good or at football. Safety's done. Cornerbacks I need, though. Any cornerbacks chilling? I'll take this wide receiver. I'll also take this cornerback. Joe Johnson. There is always a Joe Johnson in this. This guy is also the fastest in the entire class. Let's get a five-star running back, five-star athlete. Taking all these cornerbacks. All right, Travis Hopkins is going to go down. We need one of these athletes to be a quarterback. Yep, everybody's probably going to be around an 80 overall, apart from Dennis Doherty. John Watson, though, got a lot of interest in that guy. No homo. Cap of pride. I wouldn't mind chucking like 350 in a drone pits. I'll take this free safety as well, just in case one of ours decides to leave. I'll take Terry Bradley. He's an easy pickup. We have the lead on Travis Hopkins, the number one guy in the class. Uh, lead on Victor Washington. I don't know if I'll, I guess I will pursue him since he's interested in signing. Craig Miller is a no crow. Ooh, 22% on Mark Montgomery, a passer. Another quarterback, not interested. Strong safety, I'll take that. Athlete, another quarterback. Can we get a linebacker? There we go, Randall McLaughlin. I guarantee you that almost all of these guys are going to be good. The only people I will scout will be the O-linemen. I kind of low-key want Andrew Moore. Yeah, I really want Andrew Moore. Okay, overwhelming lead on Travis Hopkins. Let's drop that down to 500. I thought I did that, but the computer obviously thought otherwise. Brian Cooper looks to be in the bag without no investment of effort whatsoever. 2600 lead, gonna drop that down to 400. Big lead, gonna drop that down to 400. Graham Smith, this guy is again going to go down to 400. Yo, we got Travis Hopkins. He's the number one guy in the class. Andrew Moore, Randall McLaughlin, and William Smith. Pretty dang solid pickups, if you ask me, as well as some good little backups there. Uh, anybody good at low lock 20% question mark? A running back. I don't need a running back, but I'm going to take him. We lost to Tulsa again. What are the chances? We went from like 10 and 4 to like 6 and 5, bro. Brian Cooper signs to the squad. 75 overall, 74, 74, 74. Tyrone Quadruple X. I've never heard of a more porn star name than that. That's obviously because the rosters haven't been finished yet, so a lot of the names are left out. So you two, we go 7-5. and five. We still beat our targets win per year, so we can't complain, really. Yep, just like we thought. At least nobody, no freshmen are leaving, but we just lost a lot of good people, man. All right, transfer requests. What do we got? Middle linebacker out of TCU. I'm going to pull like 5k into... Oh, wait, Terry Campbell is better. I guess I'm going to take the guard. I don't really need the running backs. I'm putting the rest into the guard. All right, we signed two receivers, the left guard, and we got a left end. We got bang for our buck. We also signed a top 10 last. Let's go. We signed the seventh best class. We got one five star, seven four, and 11 three. We also go up to a three star prestige now. James Davis, you're a quarterback. Oh wait, no, we got TJ Goodwin. Never mind, never mind. Still need to get a tight end. Still need a couple more corners. All right, so we need offensive linemen. We'll get that at low lock time. We need a middle linebacker. Ooh, four star. Okay, I'll take that. And then I guess we'll take some of the top guys. Ooh, Claude Smith is that dude. Okay, can we get a quarterback? Finally. Wait, we already have a quarterback. What am I talking about? Okay, so in season three, we are nothing but C+. Plus. Try and get on this early. Brendan Sullivan. All right, not very many middle linebackers here. I guess I'll take Nick Cook. This is really, really bad. We didn't get anybody but one cornerback. Claude Smith is the only person interested. 80 overall cornerback. Okay, we got two outside linebackers. That is perfect. That's exactly what we need. A five-star athlete, I'm gonna take that. I just need people who are interested in becoming better. Oh, 670. 
What? Bro, this guy's an 80 overall. I'll take Michael McIntyre as well. Jimmy Porter. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. I need Jimmy. I get Nunez. Let's go, Jimmy. There you go, mate. 150. We're chilling. I guess we'll take this guy just for shits and gigs. Okay, we get Claude Smith. That's awesome. That's going to open it up a little bit. Okay, we got John Flanagan in the bag, apparently, as well. All right, looking good so far. I guess I'll take John Flanagan in a worst case scenario. We are really far behind on a lot of people, but got an outside linebacker. Offensive linemen and cornerbacks. You still need a tight end. Is there any tight ends that are good here? I desperately need a tight end. Okay, I'll take Sean Parham. We're really far behind, but it's worth a shot, right? All right, so contract extension. What's that? 20, 27, 27 wins and 11 losses. So not bad. Let's go. Okay, we've got a fullback transferring. I really don't care. He's 42 overall. And Scott Lamont. I don't know why the lemon left. I really like him. We won six games. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Whoa! 76 overall freshman out of Michigan, 77 overall left tackle out of Texas, and cornerback 80 overall out of Texas A&M. Nice, Dale Jenkins, busting out the Insta commit. We have a five, wow, 6,000 lead on Joseph Doyle. Uh, I'm probably gonna go all in on Lance Stone, to be honest. Looks like we're gonna get Joseph Dale already. That's a good class. We got everything we needed, other than the tight end, 25th. Two five stars, we're up to a four star prestige. Really, really solid class, I'll take that all day. We're good, we're finally done with the team, we just gotta make sure they improve. All right, so we got a red shirt, the seniors hands down. Bang, bang, so we're gonna be pretty bad this year. But next year, those transfers will play, so that's kind of fire. So season four, even with majority of our starters being red shirted, we are B. We're an 86-0, so that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. We've got our team completely sorted, so the computer's gonna scout, there's no need for us to do it. Let's go to season five. All right, we got Tulsa in the conference championship. We actually made the conference championship. About time we made it, and we beat Tulsa. Let's go, 10 and three with a chance to be 11. Seven and three. We're about to be a five-star prestige, man. We didn't win our bowl game, so we again finish ten and four. Well, with ten wins, I should say. But I'm pretty sure with that win, we go up to a four-star prestige. Okay, still got a target win per year of six. We're ranked twenty-one. Wow, UTEP ranked, huh? Look how little people we're going to be losing as seniors. Thank you. All right, checking out the final training results of the entire rebuild. Quarterback is a 95. Center's a 94. 90 left tackle. Got a 90 receiver being Travis Hopkins. This guy was ranked number one in the class a couple years ago. Lawrence Larson is here. Yeah, this team is pretty stacked, man. Came out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm a be 100% honest. Not the best team we've ever had. In fact, probably the worst that we've ever had. We get a brand new offensive coordinator. Wouldn't that just be the case? All right, we got a preseason All-American as good. We have one more head coach point. Unfortunately, our coordinator in this final season is really, really bad. Season five, we are A's across the board. So not where we wanted to be, but that's not bad. 95, 95, 95. Considering we were 70 overall, we went up 25 overall in four years. All right, so currently we are ranked seventh in the nation. Okay, 9-0, and let's do it. We've lost to North Texas multiple times. Come on. Yes, 58 to 13, let's go. Oh, we got Tulsa. Oh my goodness, our rival Tulsa. Ooh, we're currently ranked number two in the nation. Yes, we won, let's go. There you go, 12 and 0, boys, 12 and 0. All right, computer science are good people, but we don't really care about that. We are rank one in the nation and we have UAB. There is no way we lose this game. B minus, C plus, and B. We're dropping the most points in college. 546 yards of offense. Yes, we are going to the natty, boys. Chris Curry out of LSU gonna win the Heisman. We win the CUSA Championship. Uh, we won more awards. We won Coach of the Year. And we have Michigan. Woohoo! Uh, our quarterback, 3,400 yards, 26 touchdowns, 4 picks. Running back, 1,300. Backup running back, 1,100. Combined for 35 touchdowns on the season. Receiving and nobody over a thousand, but everybody in high digits, everybody distributing the touchdowns evenly, uh, blocking pretty dang solid. And on the defensive end, nobody had a hundred tackles. Andrew Moore had four picks. Khalif Mosley had four picks. So your rank one UTEM miners feature 95 TJ Goodwin, running backs in 89 and 87. We saw how well they played. 
Wide receivers aren't great, but they can get the job done. They're very fast. Tight ends are 77 and 78. Offensive line isn't fantastic, but it obviously was good enough to pancake a lot of people. Ends are pretty good. I don't think there's anybody on the defense that's even a 90 overall, apart from Andrew Moore. We don't have any 90s other than Andrew Moore. Let's go ahead, jump into this. Natty boys, let's do it. Let's go ahead and simulate this first quarter. See what's up. All right, Michigan is up 21-0. Oh, Higgins! Oh, he's breaking tackles! What a run, my guy! You see that shit? James Davis, 19 yards for the touchdown. Let's go! UTEP comes back to life in the second quarter. Go, baby. All right, we got to get a stop, man. We got to get a stop. They're driving. Third and 15. Fourth and 27. Is that field goal range? It is. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. Get the block. Go, 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 go. Yes. I don't really want to play the whole game, so can we get a stop? Second and five. First and 10. All right, UTEP. UTEP is driving. Where was this UTEP at the beginning of the game? Very, very solid job, boys. Do I even need to play defense anymore? Oh, he batted it down. Oh, we got to take the field goal. All right. Uh, overtime it is. Wow, we blitzed everybody. Get a touchdown and go for two. Yeah, I think I will, man. I don't like playing this back and forth bullshit. I'm going to go for two. Up. All right, boys, you already know what the deal is. We don't play no ones around here. We only go for two. We flip this out to the left. I can't. I can't flip it out to the left. He got it. What? He's in the end zone. Bro, he's in there. Definitely, definitely should have caught a timeout, flipped it out to the left. But you know what? Hey. It happens, man. It happens. So that's it. Uh, Goodwin, 279, three touchdowns. Running back, 121 and two touchdowns. He was a beast. Even 127 and two. Nothing but pancakes. Couple of sacks in there. And uh, nothing too crazy over here. We got two sacks from Tony Fork. If we did it to the left, we only had to worry about this guy right here. And he already got stuck on a block anyway. And right here, I already knew it was done. Like, as soon as that... Like, he... This guy broke off the block so fast. Look, instantly off the block. Those of you watching on YouTube, hey, we lost, but I'd rather do that than go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.